started, I wanted to do a quick review. In the last couple of videos, we've been talking about emotions. In the first video, we talked about emotion cards and ways to identify emotions. In the next video, we talked about digging deeper and why it's important to express your feelings. Today, we're gonna add mindfulness to the list. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is being thoughtful and intentional about your actions. It's taking your time, moving slow, and really focusing on why you're doing something. Slowing down helps you make smarter, healthy choices. It also helps you be able to fully understand why you're doing something. Let's create a checklist. So guys, I'm gonna list off some things and I want you to think to yourself, did I do these things today? Did you do your schoolwork thoughtfully? Did you clean your space? Did you clear your mind? Did you think before speaking? Did you show appreciation for your family and friends? Did you take time to reflect? Did you show appreciation for yourself? Did you listen wholeheartedly and really hear what was being said to you? Were you calm and loving? Doing all these things can help you be intentional about maintaining a healthy mindset. So you might be wondering, how does all this relate to Smart Moves? Smart Moves is all about making healthy choices and avoiding risky behavior. Now that we have all the tools to build and maintain a healthy mindset, we're going to put that healthy mindset into action and talk about making healthy decisions. So what is a decision? A decision is basically a choice. How do we make decisions? We think about what we're going to do before we do it. We think about how our actions affect us, our families, our friends, and our community. For example, Let's talk about if we threw trash on the ground. If we throw trash on the ground, that doesn't really directly affect us. You throw it on the ground and you kind of walk away from it. But when you throw trash on the ground, that's called littering. One, it's illegal. It's not right. Two, it also leads to pollution. And then pollution affects the community as a whole. It affects not only you, your family, the people around you, your neighbors, but also affects the environment and the animals. So, what you would do is choose not to litter because that is a healthy and responsible decision for not only you, but the people around you. Let's go through some examples. I'm going to give you an action and you're going to tell me whether or not it's healthy. And then after we answer, we're going to talk about why it may be healthy or unhealthy. You're going to have five seconds to choose if it's healthy or unhealthy. And then we're going to take some time to talk about each one. Okay. Eating vegetables, that's healthy. Why is it healthy? Because it's good for your body. Stealing, that's bad, it's not healthy. But why is that? Because it's illegal. Doing something just because your friend said so, that's bad, but why exactly is it bad? You can make your own choices. If you get in trouble, you are responsible for your actions, not the friend that you listen to. Making jokes about someone just because everyone else is doing it. That's also bad. Why? Because it can hurt someone and make them feel like they're being bullied. If someone was talking about you, it would make you feel bad too. Taking medicine that is not yours. That's also bad. Why? Because it can make you sick. Trying alcohol is a joke. That's bad too. Because alcohol for children is illegal and it can also make you sick. Staying up all night. 
that's also bad. It's bad because you will not be prepared for the next day and you won't be able to do your best. Great job guys. Now I want you to keep working on maintaining that healthy mindset and putting it into action by making healthy decisions. So now that we know what these unhealthy decisions are and why they're bad, what are the consequences of these actions? When you make that bad choice, what happens after? Well, when it comes to drinking or stealing, those are illegal. You can get arrested. You can get in serious trouble with the law. Your parents could even get in trouble. When it comes to making fun of someone just because everyone else is doing it or doing something just because your friend is doing it, you're given into peer pressure. And when it comes to giving into peer pressure, the only person that gets in trouble for your actions is you. So you can't do what other people are doing because they're not responsible for what you do. Taking medicine that's not yours is gonna make you sick. Just like if you're a kid drinking alcohol, you're gonna be sick, it's not good for you. Also, staying up all night is gonna to lead to you being unprepared and unproductive in the next day and you're just not gonna feel good about it. None of these decisions come with any good outcomes. Now to avoid repercussions and consequences, you have to learn to avoid risky behavior and protect your healthy mindset. A simple way to avoid these consequences is by just saying no. It's not always easy, but there's lots of different ways to try it. One is just simply saying, just say no. Another way is by not participating. Actions speak volumes, and it says a lot by you just not participating at all and walking away. Set boundaries. Don't be ashamed of having limits. You can preventively protect yourself by making sure that you're around people that you trust and that respect your boundaries. The type of people you hang around can either make or break you. You can also make sure that you have a good support group of trusted adults that you can talk about uncomfortable or difficult things with. It makes a huge difference. We're going to go back to our examples and talk about ways to say no in these situations. Stealing. Just don't participate. 
doing something just because your friend told you to? Just say no. Making fun of someone just because everyone else is doing it? Don't participate. Taking medicine that's not yours? Don't participate. Trying alcohol as a joke? Just say no or don't participate. Staying up all night? Set boundaries. Boundaries are rules we put in place to ensure our well-being. Follow this rule. It's not easy and every situation is different, but these are good ways to start off practicing how to say no and how to protect yourself in your healthy mindset. Building off of these will help you protect yourself against risky behavior. We have talked about what some unhealthy and risky behaviors are and how to avoid them to protect yourself. Now, let's go into more detail about what exactly are these things and why they are not good for children. Alcohol is a colorless, flammable liquid that in one form is a substance found in liquors such as beer, wine, and whiskey. They can make a person drunk. Drugs are chemicals that affect your body that are illegal, which means it is against the law to buy, sell, or use them. Why exactly are these bad? The short answer is health risk. It is a major health risk. Short-term effects are blurred vision, hard time hearing, hard time standing, being emotional, bad judgment, and hangovers, which are when you feel really sick and bad the next day. The long-term effects are damage to internal organs, loss of appetite, serious vitamin deficiencies, stomach diseases, heart and nerve damage, and memory loss. This is why you should not drink as a kid, and you should definitely not drink in excess or do illegal drugs at any age. Have you ever heard the term prescription drugs or drugstore? Those terms refer to medicine and the pharmacy or the place that you buy medicine. How do you know the difference between these and the drugs that adults tell you to stay away from? Medicine is given to you by a doctor for your benefit. It's to make you feel better. Drugs are illegal and obtained in an unsafe way. Medicine taken the wrong way or in excess can also be harmful. We have gone over a lot and it can be hard to think about and live by these things, but it is not impossible. There are people around us making smart decisions and living a life with a healthy mindset. Think of someone in your life that does the following is aware of their emotions and works through them even when it's hard, is mindful of their actions and how it affects them and the people around them, uses a healthy mindset to make healthy, smart choices, knows what risky and unhealthy behaviors are and works to avoid them. Now that we have thought of this person, let's thank them by making a thank you for being great card. During this time, everyone needs a little extra encouragement. Let's work on our cards together.
job guys and i really appreciate you all for being here thanks hey.